Sales touch on. Owen oh, Simpson's got in a bit of a mess and it's led in Collins. And an early goal for the Diamonds at the drill field. Darren Collins gets his third of the season. And with just three minutes gone at Northwich, Ruthen and Diamonds have the lead. And that goal owed much to defensive frailty in the Northwich ranks. Well, Simpson made a terrible mess of trying to clear Sales' uh, flick on it. Led in Collins. He didn't need a second invite to slip that ball past Lance Key. That's a worth keeps the momentum of the attack going back to Cooper good ball Wilkerson misses Peters 1-0 to Ruthen and Diamonds on 18 minutes and a fair bit of that goal owed to uncertainty from Paul Wilkerson who done well initially to palm a Butterworth effort aside to the corner which has created this goal the ball has come out to Cooper who has allowed a second uh, attempt at the delivery when he's lofted that in a forest of players inside the box Wilkerson should have got there didn't and Peters easy goal his second for Ruthen and Diamond Cooper that was Ackfors header McElhatton and that's Peters and they've got one back immediately well that's how to respond if you fall a goal down the Diamonds have gone straight at the other end and they've drawn themselves level. It all came about after McElhatton forced the corner and Mark Peters, who scored against Hayes on Tuesday night, has got his third goal of the season. Well, look at that cheeky goal from McElhatton's header. Easy goal as well. Darren Collins on appearance number 250 makes it 2-1 to the Diamonds. That's his 142nd goal. Though by Dickinson, Brady's corner and Peters! Well, the Diamonds are in front now. Mark Peters scores the third successive home game and he's on a remarkable goal scoring run this season. Such an unlikely source of goals. Seven minutes after half time, Redden and Diamonds retake the lead over Southport. It's now 3 2. Well, lovely header from Peters. Bit of a stampede in the penalty area there. Peters charged through it all. No nonsense header from point blank rage. That's in the back of the net. Dickinson had no chance. Brady talking in front of him. Brady's cross. Dangerous. D'Souza. Oh, that's a great goal. D'Souza with a flying header has made it one all. Four minutes into the second half. And it's the perfect time for Ruthen and Diamonds to get back on terms. That was a wonderfully executed goal. Brady chased what looked like a lost cause down on this right-hand side. Took on Colkin, skipped inside. Such an inviting cross to Souza and Meissen there. De Souza says, "Hang on, Michael, that's mine." Buries it. Underwood with a left-footed free kick, and Coburn came out, and not a good punch, Mills. Oh, and that's going in, is it? Coburn got back, but Dave Towns there, and that's his first goal for the Diamonds. Gary Mills so close to scoring his first on his debut. Coburn got back, but could only parry it out as far as uh, Dave Town as Mills gets the congratulations there from Brady. Bad error by the goalkeeper, came out, poor punch. Mills has returned that instantly, and he did well to get that on target. Certainly going in, Coburn with a half-hearted uh, sort of punch out. So uh, again, good defending from Russell and Diamonds, and that's a great ball played from David Town. This is John Brady out there on the far side. Now, what's he going to do? He's got John Hampshire on an overlap. There is Hampshire. Is this going to be a swing into the box? It is. Ball into the box. David Town completely misses his kick. Brady! Oh, that's hit a defender. Darren Collins! It is! He scored at last. 21 minutes of the game played here. And Darren Collins does not miss chances like that. David Town had a first effort at it. It went between his legs. Brady with a drive comes off a defender. And there is Darren Collins from six yards out. He does not miss those. Underwood. Darren Collins. That's one all. Diamonds draw level with 31 minutes gone. Darren Collins scores his 11th goal of the season. He now overtakes McElhatton as Richland's top scorer. That moves him to within one goal of 150 in his Diamonds career and it was such a simple one you have to wonder whether it was a free kick in the first place though Underwood didn't worry about that just got on with it dinked the ball into the box and Collins has stole in front of both Howarth and Martin there Brady's going to take it into the mix and it's gone in the Diamonds have equalised Darren Collins is wheeling away in delight and is that his 12th goal of the season Collins is claiming it Rodwell 
a shot off to the other end of the pitch he wants the glory as well whose goal is it the diamonds don't care it's one all Collins and Rodwell go up for it well it looks to me like that's Rodwell's goal but Souza, Low, Wooding are all up there and David Lowe there scores a very easy goal well what was happening in the Hensford defensive ranks there they were they playing the offside trap or what they just stood and watched as David Lowe there has nodded the diamonds into the lead from Paul Underwood's free kick which was clipped delightfully into the middle but it does make it so much easier for you when there are no defenders about David Lowe gets his fourth in seven games since joining the Diamonds and that's the easiest of the lot. 23 minutes gone at Nen Park, it's Ruthen and Diamonds 1, Hensford Town nil. Only as far though as John Hampshire. Good ball by Hampshire and it's dropped in the net. Now that will go down as an own goal I think. Jim Rodwell is the Diamonds player nearest the uh, ball then. But I rather think that Matt Crossley there has headed the ball past his own goalkeeper to gift the Diamonds the lead here at Kings Meadow. Half an hour gone, wonderful ball by Hampshire and indeed it is Crossley who just nudges that. Fine header actually by Crossley. Oh, chance here for Dave Town and he's driven wide round the goalkeeper. That is such a cool finish by Dave Town. Ruthen and Diamonds have the lead with 21 minutes gone at Nen Park. Dave Town gets his second in two games and that really was a very well taken strike by Dave Town his fifth conference goal of the season took it down superbly from the knock forward by Warmel round key and although there were two defenders on the line he didn't bother Town he has stuck that coolly into a gaping net and the Diamonds are a goal to the good and 21 minutes at Nen Park John Hampshire has scored penalties already this season and he's got a third Two minutes into the second period, a great start for the Diamonds after coming out after the interval. They're back on terms. Oh, it's Burgess. We're in the final six minutes. Oh, there's a goal to the good. Burgess took a whack in the face there. He's going to be okay there. Once again, this right flank totally open for the Diamonds to exploit and enjoy. The ball's into Sajer. One touch and the second one sees it in the back of the net. That was such an easy goal. Welling United down there, left-hand side all afternoon of Luke Shoddy. John Hampshire exposed it, was allowed to carry the ball a good 30 yards there with no one around him, looked up. And the ball to Sajer, this was a training ground goal, one touch from Sajer, no one on him. Second one, bang, in the net. Forward by Turley. Mills. Oh, that's allowed Sijera a clean run on goal. Is this three? It certainly is. And it's turning into a very, very simple afternoon now for Ruthen and Diamonds. Welling United, 3-0 down. They look destined for relegation now. The Diamonds have simply run rampant in the second half of this second half at Parkview Road. Darren Collins there had a hand in that goal. Mills put the header through. Awful error by Budden. And Sijera, plenty of time to think about what he was going to do. Slots it through Paul Wilkinson's legs. His fourth goal for the Diamonds. 